Hey y'all. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. I need to do my 16 ounce jar. But yes, I just finished making my protective blend here. Uh, this is what I use to protect myself and my home energetically. You know what I'm saying? This has some specific herbs that have properties for protection. Um, I'm gonna find me a 16 ounce mason jar because this is right at 16 ounces. But I just wanted to put it away so I can show y'all what's popping for this week. Y'all ready for the week?
talk a little louder because my camera is not as close to me as it normally is and I probably need to just grab a mic. But um, let me go to Bolingo Balance and help you to understand what it is. I got my spring waters over here to take this and we're going to talk before I really push on my day. It's gonna be fresh fruits and salad, that's it. So I got Detox Bundle 1, which of course as we see here, and I put a little picture up of it. Put in the order as it is on here. The cell, the chelation detox, the bromide, and the green foods plus. This one will run you, I think it's 200. Don't get me the line though. Hold on, because I have to go back and look. I'll put it in the, in the, in the, um, in the information box. Then we have each of these, which is the of course, the Victor Tonic and the Milani Tonic. I'm gonna talk about what they are, what they do, and we are gonna get on with taking them. I'll say you a little bit about the taste profile, so you can know what I'm tasting here. And um, yeah. So, first thing in the morning, we have the cell. This is a combination of iron-rich energizers and cleansers and revitalizers. It delivers iron and oxygen to the blood and to the brain, the central nervous system, and the lymphatic system. It addresses the kidneys and the respiratory system, and it helps to combat cravings for addictive substances. So if you are craving sugar or something like this, this should be able to help you, which is the cell, okay? The cell energizer. This one here is the Chelation Detox. Um, this one is not sold separately. You cannot get it separately. It won't happen. But this one says, it's a cleansing and repairing product for your cells. Um, it helps mostly within the digestive tract. So it cleanses the cells in the digestive tract. And it helps to benefit to, to um, it helps to rebalance beneficial gut um, flora and helps to keep things away like funguses and candida and um, it basically helps with that. Um, it helps with diseases in the digestive tract considering those would be like IBS or an irritable bowel disorder, IBD, some people call it that. Um, it helps with Crohn's disease, it helps with um, colitis and gastro ulcers, lupus, yeast infections, penis infections, mouth infections, and herpes outbreaks. The combination can increase bowel movements three to six times a day. And um, if you want more details, it's on the website. I don't know where that would be because you can't buy this separately, so you can look it up purposely. Um, I'll look on here really quick at the Detox Bundle and see if it maybe gives you more information there. Um, the bromide, of course, most people already know what that is. It's sea moss packed with 90 of the 102 minerals that the body needs. Um, it has 15 essential minerals, which is selenium, calcium, potassium, and magnesium. This helps fight with iron deficiencies. Um, it also has bladder rack in it, um, which helps with your glands. It helps with obesity and cellulite. Um, high in iodine, which is, helps to boost your metabolism as well. Helps with your thyroid any anti-inflammatory um, issues, and it is powerful for cancer prevention, also boosts tumor, anti-tumor properties. And again, more information on the website. Again, let me, before we even go into the next one, I'm not a doctor, please do not take this as medical advice. This is just basically uh, a disclaimer. I'm just only speaking on the herbs that I'm taking by choice. Um, I'm very herbally inclined, so this is why I do this. I would do this before I go anywhere else. And if I feel like I would definitely need to make that move, then that's when I do it. But so far, so good. So let's talk about this next one, which is Green Foods Plus. Um, basically, it's uh, a multi-mineral formula which has chlorophyll-rich uh, foods for the entire body. It is also a blood purifier. Um, it helps poor circulation. It's um, good for the, the, um, the gastro track it's good for um, hemorrhaging cardiovascular and um, your locomotive systems your motor skills 
Um, it's good for kidney stones, epilepsy, um, floor retention, edema, conjunctivitis, and weak contractions during labor. All right, pregnant mamas. So I've learned a lot, y'all. So this is a nice, nice little attitude to what I've been learning on my journey and what I'm doing. So that's pretty dope. This is a Lottie tonic. Um, this is basically a powerful tonic, which is, um, it has like um, things in it to help with iron and anemia and things like that. Of course, it has a dandelion root in there. It's high in calcium. It helps the gallbladder. It lowers blood pressure. Um, it has bluebird vein for your nerves and it's good at treating herpes and self sexual health. Um, it nourishes the connection between the brain and the intestines. It eases headaches, reduces symptoms of depression and stress, eliminates pain and protects the immune system. So here it is. It also says for more information to contact the website or look at the website. This one is Maroon Tonic. Um, this one has the Flora de Manita flower in there. It's good for treating heart conditions. Um, it's good for regulating blood pressure, headaches, dizziness, postpartum, while calming the nerves. Okay, okay. Um, Coco Mecca, which is rich in iron, helps fight obesity and cellulite. It's high, to, high cholesterol, it helps with um, maldiabetes, ulcers, gas, constipation, and habits of swelling after eating, and supports the pancreas, liver, and gallbladder. That's what this maroon tonic is for. When I think maroon, I think like a ugly color. But that's not what it's for yet. It's for um, blood pressure. Last but not least, we have the Victor tonic. Shout out to Victor, Malingo Balance. Shout out to Simone, Malingo Balance. Um, this one is good for using, um, it's a blood purifier. So basically it's good for treating HIV, diabetes, back pain, infections, scabies, and it serves as a blood purifier, you guys. Um, if you want to talk about the ingredients, Calicea, Guaco, Contribo, and Hombre Grande is what's in the Victor Tonic. We've got, um, of course, the Maroon, and that one's going to have the Coco Mecca and the Flor de Manisa. Trust and believe, he does not just put the ingredients you see on here. There's plenty more that goes in there. Don't get it twisted. Um, this one also has Dandelion, Guaco, Blue Vervain, which he also talked about in the description bar, um, the description in the bottom, so... Nothing new there. Um, this one, which is the Green Fruits Plus, is the cactus, the Nopal cactus, the bladder rack, IRC moss, and New Lake Valley is the ingredients on this one. Bromide, we pretty much know it's gonna be um, bladder rack and sea moss. The Chelation Detox, it looks like it says Cascada Sagrada, Proviosa, and Blessed Thistle. Of course, it's gonna be more than that, I'm pretty sure. And then for the cell, it has Sapo. Ombre Grande, Chaparral, Valerian Root, and Irish Moss. So you're getting some doses of Irish Moss in different areas. So these two here have sea moss, which would be the cell, the Green Foods Plus, and then you're also going to get it in your bromide. So these three right here have sea moss. Of course, this one's going to make you poop. So yeah. Um, just a recommendation, uh, this, maybe this is just me. Collation Detox, you want to have the Cascada Sagrada. I would probably drink Cascada Sagrada during this detox as well, so I want to make some Cascada Sagrada straight up. So yeah, let's see what these bad boys taste like. I know y'all want to see it. Woo! Yes, and the wood is burning. Now, I'm going to go ahead and uh, shake her up. There's little pieces in here. Yeah, this is the Victor tonic, you guys. I'm gonna pop this seal. And y'all gonna watch the progression. This is these bottles last, I think, ten days. Yeah, ten days only. So this is only be a week and a half of um, liquids. And after that, it's gonna go for the capsules. I'm probably going to make my own liquids in the process. I find that liquid herbs are extremely important to take even when you're doing these detoxes and drinking plenty of water, of course. Um, I do prefer water bottles that have um, are in glass bottles, but I don't have them right now. I'm looking at the light to see if I see it. These are amber bottles, so kind of really, really see what you can a little bit. Okay. All right, let's go. Push this to the side one at a time. Victor Tonic on the roll. So 
of course you know the cover here, you're gonna probably hit a pop. Yep. Bubbles up top. Oh, that smells nice. Yeah, it smells nice actually. This is how it smells really nice, you guys. So we're gonna do three tablespoons. If it doesn't fit in here, I'm gonna grab another um, shot glass. I don't think it is though. It's just because you have to pour it like this. You know what? I'm not. I don't have to do that. No. Let me ask Because they're hard to pour. You don't want to waste a lot of the product. I would suggest getting like a... I have one. I know I have one. I'll just get one of these. Maybe like a messy style one to get from like uh, the pharmacy. First, wash out the dishwasher, but still, <laughs> I like to clean behind my dishwasher. <laughs> Do a little quick rinse down. All right. So it looks like the shot glasses that I have aren't big enough, but it's okay. One more tablespoon left. Small particles in the product as I'm pulling it from the bottom, of course. Got like one more left. Three tablespoons here. Again, Victor Tonic is for blood purification. Now let's just remember that. God, this smells like hot dogs, boy. Mm. Okay. I wasn't ready for that. It didn't smell like what it tastes like. Holy shit. This tastes like cascara and product in there. It's very bitter. So your Victor tonic is bitter. I'm just gonna put it out there. Bitter. But let's see, you know, a lot of riff rap, let's talk about the products, okay? We're gonna do this for 10 days of the liquid, so. You guys are gonna watch me take these. Y'all know I ain't gonna lie. In Honduras, I struggle, so I don't think it's gonna be any different today. So I might have to fast forward through it. It ain't the duck flower, but um, it better. <laughs> so let's go. Fermentation, yeah, looks like. 
Nothing bad. Let's get the connotation out. It's like kombucha in a sense, like that fermentation part. Like, I don't want to taste that in my mouth. It can be a little slimy. there yeah you can definitely see that okay um and let me say something else let me let me show y'all this at least i'll pour it back in a second thick the tonic okay this is the color of her Ooh. So this is maroon. Focus in, baby girl. Okay, I'm sorry. This is maroon. I'll focus back out. This is Victor, this is maroon. See the difference in the color? I'm about to take this one, so let me pour a little bit in here. Just for the color, so you can see the difference. You can see that. Victor, no room. Okay. Alright. Now. Again, this is for lowering blood pressure. I'm not excited to try this one either. Let's see what she smells like. Just see my face for a second. Hey. <laughs> Pull back on it just a little bit more so you can see me. Okay. Yes, you can see me. <laughs> They be tricky as hell, man. They smell so sweet. Why do I not trust them? It's gonna be sweet though. So this one is not as bitter as that Victor tonic. Ooh. So I was going down this one. So the one I thought would taste the worst actually wasn't that bad. Maroon tonic now. Now, last one left is the Lani tonic. It's good for your nerves. Dandelion, guaco, blueberry vein as we spoke. I'm gonna bring the computer back. Let me set the computer. I'm gonna bring this back down so you guys can see the color of this one as well. Yeah. Okay, we here. Not a tonic. Now I heard this one taste. I heard this one's not that pleasant. So Yeah, 
this is the one that I don't know why is it. I didn't hear a, a popping sound. And I didn't hear it like making noise. So I don't know. Usually that's like a sealed sound. So this one, I don't know. Let's see. Let me double check to see how tight this thing is. I guess it's stuck in there. Yeah, some of these, uh, these ones come off a little bit different. Now they're stuck because it's been open, but when they process, it's usually they pop. Like a, and then we put them back on, they stay in. So this one, no, we'll see. This one didn't make that pop. Then make that pop. So I don't know, let's see. What she looking like, what she smells like. This smells like Maya. This one's even browner than the other one. See those particles? See the colors? It goes from light to darker. Alright. So that is the Oh shit. I knocked it over. I've already tried the Lonnie Tonic. I got it. Oh, oh my camera strap. <laughs> it dropped, it fell. I've tried the Lonnie Tonic before. I'ma tell y'all. The first one was bitter. Lonnie Tonic is just as bitter as this. I am back. I can never let. So yes, I've had line time before. I'm just gonna tell y'all it's bitter shit. So that's all you can get from me. I don't know if I'm really ready for her today. We'll see. We'll see. I'm gonna be real honest. The way it opened made me feel like I didn't really want to drink it. I just, you know, the ceiling of it wasn't quite closed, so I want to probably reach out to customer service on that one. Turned out that that sound it kind of makes me feel like I shouldn't take this one, but um, I always look for the pop. As I said, I um, I make herbs pretty often, so it's not a bad thing. I just, um, we'll see. It smells fine, nothing wrong with it. But it does, it smells like Maya, Maya Electrica. And uh, basically that's it for the liquids. Y'all got a chance to see what it looks like. It's very bitter. The only one that isn't that bitter is maroon. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this bromide real quick. That's the seal on, see? I love his ones. I love his bromides, man. This is like probably one of my favorites. Bromide. Down. And for this, I'm gonna give you the direction. So it says, um, you take with the meal that follows the nutrition diet. Am I about to eat? Maybe, I probably was gonna eat real quick. Yeah, that smells very green. I, I know that smell. Mm -hmm. 
red cork over it. So yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and holler at you real quick. I like that. I like that. That's the bladder rack. Yeah, bladder rack has a bit of a bolder, more pungent seaweed smell. It's, it's a different undertone than um, say sea moss itself. Yeah, green foods plus looking, looking nice and legit too. I've never had an issue with herbs, man. I don't know what to tell y'all. Green Foods Plus is down. Sell. Big potent stuff here. Yeah, I know I love to smell the shop out of house. Kind of peppery. Chaparral reminds me of horseradish. That's what it smells like to me. I've already opened this. This had a seal on it, just so y'all know. This is Pelation Detox. Water went the wrong way. Cascara Sagrada will throw you off. Woo! That tea lace is strong. I'll show y'all how my week goes. This is Lonnie. This is Maroon. This is Victor. Lonnie, Maroon, Victor. Hope this is helpful to you guys. Oh, I'm gonna keep drinking my water. And of course, as you know, now I will be honest with you, I got this detox kit. It did not come with any instructions, but the nutritional guide is on the website. So, I don't know if you guys, um, if there's any specific condition, I'm pretty sure you guys would probably have to um, maybe have a one on one. Uh, I don't know how that really works on this end. I'm trying to be as informative as I can. Um, it says here, like, you know, food to avoid and how to follow the guide. So now if you go to the footers menu, it says nutritional guide. Let me see if I can bring it in closer. So if you're on the website and you're at the part that says, you go to the menu and see it says, um, start to save these guides, it's gonna look like this. See, I probably try to do a double screen if I can. So it looks like that. Um, but if you also push it again, hold on, let me see something. It has them underneath too. I can't see. I can get it closer. Yeah. So the options are also here. Um, if you go to the very bottom of the page. There's a footer menu, okay? It also gives you like the options. Yeah, I don't know if you can see it all, but. <clears throat> so you have a nutritional guide and then it pops up. See? If you back up, depending on your condition in the footers, it has a herpes guide, so. Looks like to me, if it's something dealing with like herpes, you have to switch it up a bit. Um, it looks like that is a very, very minimal list. You have, so the other one's like two pages long. This one is a lot smaller, so. Um, please be advised that if you are on this healing journey or if you're just detoxing, whatever the case may be, that there are two different guides, you guys. So, um, yeah, so basically how to follow nutritional and herpes guides. So there's two different um, ones and then it's also going to tell you how to follow it. So that should be very helpful to you guys. I want to tell you, I really hope I've got some value because 
I think everybody needs to kind of understand like healing, there's different levels to it. And I'm not, I'm not here to, to poke no judgments. I'm just here to show y'all what the herbs do, right? So um, let's give this some time. I'm gonna follow the nutritional guide. I'm gonna take these herbs on the daily, of course, you know, the limit for 10 days. So 10 days on these, 30 days on those. And then of course I still have sea moss. So I'll probably drink that at nighttime. I'll show you that. Moss here. So I do have that as well. And so I'll probably take the valerian root at night too. Cause of course it's good for your nerves when you go to sleep. So I have the valerian root. Right now I'm gonna drink some alkaline coffee. Y'all know I like that. Done a video on that one, you guys. We got some Cascara Sagrada. So that's that. Ah, so there we go for the herbs, y'all. So we're gonna keep doing this on a daily basis, you guys. Hopefully you see some great progression in me. If you have any questions in this vlog or once you watch this vlog, if you don't see any questions answered, you can ask me at the bottom in the comments below. Hope y'all have a great day on this Monday and peace out. All right, y'all. So here's the Lonnie tonic, and this is what it looked like when I poured it into the pan. I didn't feel comfortable with it, so I decided to reach out to customer service. I'll give you guys an update, but until now, I've decided not to take any of the liquids until I hear back from them, okay? All right, y'all. Just came back from looking for some upholstery for my business, covering some seats, and I have a salad from Chopped. As you see my gram, I posted it already. It's very simple. It has tomatoes, onions, tomatoes, I said tomato, tomatoes, onions, olives, and a very small amount of avocado, tahini dressing, lime juice, and yeah, that's it. Keeping it simple as I'm detoxing. I'm already starting to feel the poops. And I took this at probably like 11 something, it's four, I'm starting to feel it. And then of course I got me a blackberry splendrip for my water consumption, and I'm about to drive off. What's up y'all? It's Tuesday and I am back. It is about 11.50. I got my alkaline coffee, it has no sweetener in it. And a little bit of hemp milk. I have been on Zoom calls all day because I'm trading and stuff. So like I'm trying to figure out my indicators again and get back into that you know so um, I do trade um, so that's what's going on basically I'm on my way to work but um, yeah it's been like an ongoing zoom call type of day shout out to my peeps um, yeah um, I see what else I am on day two of these herbs Woke up this morning with a very white tongue, so my body's detoxing. That collision detox is serious. Um, I'm gonna tell you that right now, it is very serious. I'm sorry, I'm just getting used to this part. It's like, I guess when I hit a bump. But um, it works very well. You'll probably get to the bathroom about four or six hours ahead of time. So that's that. Um, I haven't ate anything yet. I haven't been in the mood to eat anything. My appetite has been. So I guess the cell is working as far as cravings and things like that. Um, I'll probably go get a salad from uh, my spot chops and eat that and that'll probably be my meal for the day. Um, last night I had some sea moss and uh, I didn't eat, I didn't have the blue vervain or the valerian root, so. <clears throat> that was that. Look, y'all, I feel like poop. I'm 
I'm gonna tell y'all straight up. When you detoxing, you got some heavy stuff going through your system. You drink as much water as you can. I feel a lot of mucus. Oh my God. So, but you know, this is day two. I'm gonna tell you from personal experience, like my chest feels heavy, throat, I just feel a lot of drainage. So I'm trying to drink as much water as I can to get myself together. So another thing I also do, the, the front of it is gone. <laughs> Front of my bottle is gone, but this is oregano science science sinus product. And then I also have the liquid one, so I took both of those before I left, and I'm about to put some more of this up my nose. This because I for upper respiratory things. Just want to make sure that everything is good. Um, that it's free of any bacteria, things like that. So the oregano, the oregano sinus, um, nasal form is really great. I'm waiting for a nose spray aspirator because I'm gonna take this and I'm going to mix it with um, colloidal silver. And I'm gonna start pumping that up my nose just as, a, as a, an antiviral. Like if anything comes in the air that I don't need to see, y'all know what's like going on. I'm gonna use that. Um, I've been tested a few times, I'm good. Why we got this new? So yeah, um, that's that. I had me some soup today. That was basically it. I haven't been that hungry. I took my herbs, as y'all saw earlier, and I'm on my way back to work. Um, so <clears throat> this is like a really light day. Just a lot of work going on. Work, work, work. I did go to the grocery store. I did some lightweight shopping. Got some zucchinis and cucumbers and things like that of course you know watermelon season is over so i'm a little sad i can't find these cd watermelons right now because they're out of season but you can find plenty of seedless ones because guess what they grow all year round i'm pretty sure that one's do too but it's a little more difficult to find so yeah no more watermelon you guys i can find another water rich food that was for me cucumbers um yeah so that's that yeah, there's not too much going on today. I just feel icky. Like, it's about 4 o'clock in the evening. My body really wants to rest, but I have to, I have to get some work done. So, I will holler at y'all, and I will see y'all in a bit. Peace out. Great early morning on a Wednesday. Decided to make me some fonio with some date sugar. Y'all see, excuse the baby spoon. I couldn't help myself with the first half of fun. Started in there with a little hemp milk, a little date sugar there. I added some, what spice did I put in there? Hey, remember what spice I put in there? It's not cinnamon, it's not, not made. Oh, it's clove, yeah, I put clove in there. And that's that little bit of vegan butter. And of course, some juice in there. I took my herbs, so this is how my Wednesday starting off, you guys. y'all it's wednesday this is like the end of my day i showed y'all my breakfast and everything and i didn't tell y'all i took my hair down so it's all up in here now so i have all the extra curly stuff so i took it out but i knew that my hair needed some love so i went and did me a little shopping haul at sephora and i got the lovely olaplex um set it comes with the number three um, the number four shampoo, the number five conditioner, and number seven bonding oil. The three is just like a, a repair treatment, but it's like a really good deal at Sephora. So, like, this was 60 bucks. Yeah, so this is really nice. So, you know, I got me something for my skin because sometimes it needs a little love. Um, for the most part, I just use my own natural skincare products, and there's some other brands that I do use that are a little bit all natural. Um, but today I got the Tatcha Dewy Luminous Dewy Skin Mask. Got one of those. I got a Sephora Micro Smooth. Um, it's basically like a big palette. It's really, really pretty. Um, really open it like that. Well, that's how it opens. So this is what she looks like. Got that one. 
And then I got last but not least, the Sunshine Under Eye um, Tint and Brighten Concealer. Um, this one has some things in there. It's like a three-in-one that hydrates and brightens the skin. Um, the great thing about this one is it has um, vitamin C and hyaluronic with a little caffeine. If you open this up, the cool thing about this is it has like a little roller ball on it. So, yeah, that's that. That's what I got from Sephora. But then, you know, I walked past the nice little um, Lush. Because <laughs> I'm a Lush. So, I went to Lush Cosmetics and I grabbed my son grab. <laughs> with these little robot, um, and these are robot scrubbers. Oh, that scrubbers, robot bath bombs. It's really cute. And then he got, let me see if I can get this out of the seat. The Ickle Baby Bot Bath Bomb. Yes, that's what he got. <laughs> that's what that is. And you know I love smell good, so. Uh, and I like to exfoliate, so I went on ahead and got me one of these, which is the Scrubby B bar, it looks like a B. <laughs> See, it's cute. It smells impeccable, but you use it to scrub your body. So yeah, I'm all for a good body scrub. Of course, you know, I make a lot of them myself too, but I don't know, I feel like treating myself. They gave me a fig and leaf soap sample. They also gave me a Sultana soap sample. And then this is Bay right here. This is the last one I got. See that nice little gold on it. This is the goddess soap, y'all. You know I love anything that says that. The goddess, it's like one of my favorite words, but. She has some oud in there, and she smells so good, y'all. I cannot wait to sink my bath teeth into this. <laughs> Let me stop. But no, that's what I got um, today. Um, I still feel a little groggy as I wipe my eyes. Oh yeah, I got some more stuff. So yeah, I got the, the BB seaweed and the cosmetic warrior was another sample. So these are the samples they gave. They loved it on me. I thought that was nice. But yes, so I did a little haul today. This is Wednesday. I've been for the most part in a trade, trading up here today. And that's kind of like my day to day. And then after I realized that everything was in balance, I kind of went out about my day hung out with my mom and my baby. We went to the mall, so something is in my eye if y'all see me again. But yeah, that's how my Wednesday went. It was a pretty boring one, because tomorrow's probably gonna be crazy and I'm gonna do a lot of stuff. So y'all know this is what a concealer is, other than this eye line. I'm sorry, this um, mascara, but it looks really good, this concealer. And yeah, my nose is still draining from detoxing and all. So, oh yeah, 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 and Sephora. They gave me a sampler, so this is the Tatcha um, Soft Cream Cleanser. So that's pretty much it. So that concludes Wednesday, y'all. I will check y'all soon. As far as the herbs are going, it's going. Um, still keeping up with it. Soups and salads, that's it. So homemade soups, spicy soups, and salad. But so far, so good, y'all. So see y'all tomorrow. Peace. What's up you guys? I am back. It is officially Friday and I've been doing really good with this detox, y'all. I ain't look. So I'm about to take my herbs really quick right now. I've been editing videos, so uh, it's now two o'clock and I'm just like, oh my goodness. So yeah, that's what's been going on. Let's see what else is going on. Got some herbal tea here. It's like an elderberry tea. So I'm gonna use this for so yeah, I'm gonna use this um this tea here for to take my herbs today. It has no sugar in it whatsoever. Just letting y'all know. First thing I'm going to say today is going to be the chelation detox. This don't be happy you going to the sweat, for real. And I've already told all that, but yes. Do y'all see how dark these pills are? Dang. I'm gonna take this 
take that with the sub. Shit, it's not even a bad idea to sleep on the chelation and the um in the cell so your body can detox while you sleep and I think that might be what I'm gonna start doing is taking the chelation in the cell during the morning or like I'm about to see, see chelation in the cell during the night so that my um, bowels are being cleansed while I'm sleeping and detoxing. And then I think first thing in the morning I would do the green foods and the bromide because these are energetic you know cell foods um, so they would give you energy so I think instead of me taking all of them at one time, we're going to I think next week I'm going to start doing these in the morning, the green foods in the morning, and then doing these at night. Liquids are still going. Skin is definitely improving. I got a little makeup on today, y'all, but it's definitely improving. Um, I got, I got told y'all I got the new stuff, so I put some of that on today under the eyes. I did my hair really quick, and I ain't no professional braider. But I do be trying to get this stuff out the way, you feel me? So <laughs> I did a quick braid up, y'all. Let me give y'all a little. So, yeah. Did a little quick braid up real quick. So let me take these herbs real quick. week is always the hardest I felt like crab yesterday I decided to like take like a, a mental break and just like not talk to people sometimes I feel like you know when you you talk sometimes you really need to get a day away from everybody it's nothing personal sometimes you know when you be talking and you talk too much you get a headache that's just me or if you hear people talk too much you start to get a headache because your body's trying to do this your body's already doing this and then you hear people they're doing this so it's like Am I doing that right? <laughs> it's like too much going on. So today was just kind of like a day where I just kind of did nothing. Of course, I'm editing videos. Of course, you guys are going to see the week before as I'm talking. Because I'm, I'm working on the week before right now as I'm talking. But I mean, I just needed like a, a mental break. I love everybody. But sometimes, you know, you got to take a little, a little step back, you know. Check yourself into chill rehab. <laughs> So I was kind of like in the, in the room just relaxing. Um, yeah, that's basically been it. So that's how my day's been going this Friday. I I just need to relax. So yeah. Tomorrow I'll be out of town. Tomorrow I will be out of town. For sure, guys. I'm going to buy bags. Stay tuned. It's gonna be really fun and exciting. It's a little bit of a small road trip. I am going out to um, to a festival, so you guys get to check that. And I'm gonna have a good time. So stay tuned. It's Friday. This is really kind of like not really a strong vlog day because I'm relaxing. This is what I gotta get rid of. That's like old lady arms. Like I need to get rid of old. Stomach so far. My drawers all the way up there. This is what my tummy is looking like. So I got my little back roll. I'm not sucking it in. No, I'm not sucking it in. That's what I look like right now. Let's go check the weight real quick. See, I think I will. The scale is because it likes to move, but hold on. Saturday and 
I am on my way to like DC area. There is this really cool multicultural festival. So I'm like, yes, I totally want to go. My homegirl Jay is down there, of course, still. So she was like, oh, let's go. I was like, oh. <laughs> so I'm on my way there. Excuse the face. This is no makeup today. I had to put on some. This pimple is officially flooding gone. So only thing I had to do is give her the scar. You know, when you light bright, they just don't go away very easily. So I had to work on that. But I'm going to pick up my mom and my son because they're rolling with me. Yay! And we're about to have a blast, y'all. Like a whole blast. I'm not using my camera today because, and that's why you see all that wobbling. I'm not using my camera today because my niece who has a basketball game and my brother's like, can I use your camera? So I'm like, yeah, go ahead. So we're going straight for the phone today. But um, yes, yeah, stay, stay tuned, y'all. This is about to be so much fun. And I love getting my kid out somewhere where he can see different things. So a multicultural festival is going to be freaking amazing. So I will catch y'all in a bit, y'all. Again, it's Saturday, and this is like my day off, where I get to like relax. The healing part of this, like I said, I this morning, I don't think I ever seen so much poop in my life, but you know, I'm releasing, which is good. You know, uh, a couple days ago, I wasn't feeling good at all. It was um, Thursday, I was like, ugh. Friday, I was feeling a little bit better, and now today, I am like on a honey. When y'all detox, please understand, you are gonna feel like poop the first day. So, don't get discouraged, just keep going. And I noticed, you know, my skin was very dull and ugly, and it was just going through some things. Just like any of the other detoxes I've done, you know, you just gotta understand it's a process. So when your skin looks bad, it's just your body trying to cleanse out toxins. And of course, since your skin is your biggest organ, it's gonna use that as an opportunity to pull out any type of, um, you know, toxicity in the body so i'm getting my glow back girl i ain't got no makeup on right now i'll put on some later y'all see what yes i'm excited so let's go all right all right disclaimer it wasn't as fun as we thought but i did get a chance to see my girl jay dropped her off at the airport and we ended up going to get something to eat me and my mom and of course ikea all right y'all so i'm officially at Ikea doing a little bit of shopping while I'm down here in DC because I'm trying to get some stuff together for my room at work so so I went into Ikea and couldn't find anything so that concludes the end of the week for this vlog to all you guys thanks for watching and do not forget to like comment and subscribe till next week see y'all later peace